Hey guys, so you have yourself a home cinema. You have a speaker cable, uh, you have a receiver, you have your speakers, but you want to connect the cable to the speakers and to the audio receiver, AV receiver in a really nice way. So what do you need? You need beautiful speaker terminals like these. Speaker plugs, these are banana types. They're awesome. Plug and play. Uh, don't be intimidated by this. It's simpler than it looks. So, let me show you how it's done. You take a nice thick cable, as thick as possible, because uh, the thickness actually does help with the sound quality. First, you take a knife and you separate the two wires from each other just like this. You don't need a whole lot of length, let's say 10, 15 centimeters. And now we're going to cut this plastic off of it. I have these banana types and inside of this head, it's rather, oh, it's rather a big hole. So what I'm going to do, it can accommodate for uh, a speaker wire twice the size. So I'm going to cut a little bit um, longer part. I'm going to bend it and uh, fill the hole <laughs> with a wire. Okay, so let's see. This is about a nice size. First, I'll mark the length of both uh, with a knife. And then, so basically you start cutting until you reach the wire. And then when you do, you can kind of ha, uh, open it up like that. Then you cut a little bit more on the side. And again, you bend it. Get the plastic off, and I think one more will do. All right, and it's done. So the wire on the inside, it's not straight, okay? So it's made up of teeny tiny little wires, and they go like this. So what you want to do is you want to check which way they're coiled, and then turn this plastic that we just cut off in the same direction until it finally comes out like that. And we have our bare wire right there. So um, every wire is marked uh, either with a red or with a black so that we know which one is positive and which one is negative. Um, so I'm going to take my red one and first I'll take a screwdriver and I'll unscrew these screws from it which actually hold the wire inside the little plug inside the banana plug you can get all kinds of really fancy uh, banana plugs uh, really really expensive ones made from these are gold plated uh, but kind of cheap uh, but you can get like I don't know silver plated and played it with whatever, you know, many different kinds of uh, conductive materials. So we get it inside and then we take these little screws and we screw them back in carefully. I don't know why it's fighting me. I guess it's because I'm making a video out of this, so that's why. Things never go as they should on a video. Because I've already done, done just one, just a few minutes ago, and that went perfectly. Okay, let me try the, the second tiny screw. Maybe that one will go a little bit easier. Sometimes, you know, millimeter differences between screws and one can go in easier than the other. Hmm. 
All right, I think this one is playing along a little better. Okay, and it doesn't matter, you can actually go quite uh, rough with this and just uh, screw it quite well. Let's try the other one. Hopefully it will fight me a little bit less than the first one. Or not. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, where are you on the ground? All right, let me try again. It feels as if I just can get the thread to attach, but I don't know why. Well, you know, it's like, manufacturing quality hmm. well one would still be enough we don't really need to but my OCD tells me I have to <laughs> okay well at this point you're you're just having fun watching me struggle with this so you might as well enjoy it Right? Nope. <laughs> well, it was inside before, so it has to somehow get inside, right? It just has to. Ha! Now it's there. All right, now it's there. These are tiny screws, you know? And I'm not young, so my eyes don't see this perfectly more as they used to. <laughs> Okay, all right, it's there. Now I take the top and I screw the top on so that it's protected. Now you could go um, one step further. You can buy these little sleeves, which you put on before you screw this and you take a lighter and they sort of shrink and they create a perfect seal. Uh, I don't like those, I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna go like this and you can watch me struggle with the other one just so you, that you have fun watching me because why not right might as well cut my finger or something now not every speaker is made for all kinds of plugs okay so there are some uh, other plugs uh, you better check your your speaker but most speaker terminals are made for for bananas these days because they are I think the most convenient and to be honest I also think that they they're just the best um, I always felt that they create like the tightest connection even with some heavy duty cables all right there you go and again i'm going to bend it halfway and this is the black one so i'll take it off and of course people just keep calling me because why not so where was i yes so i unscrew this I mean, ideally, I would keep some of it inside. Oh, of course, it fell out. Let me try to just keep it there somehow. Okay, let's push this inside. It's inside and screw these in.
and the other one. And now let's screw this cover on top and we're done. And we have a beautiful set of cables ready um, to, well there, this is actually called the termination of a cable, uh, to be plugged into a receiver or an amplifier. Thanks for watching guys, hope this helped.